among men, and therefore not to be taken unadvisedly, lightly or wantonly, duly considering the causes for which matrimony was ordained. Therefore, if any man can show just cause why they shall not be lawfully joined together, let them now speak or hereafter hold his peace. <coughs> Colonel Kevin Storkfleet, will you take Dawn Carter to be your wife? Will you love her, comfort her, honour and protect her, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I will. Dawn Carter, will you take Colonel Stevin Corkfleet to be your husband? Will you love him, comfort him, honour and obey him, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? <laughs> Repeat after me, please. I, Colonel Kevin Storkfleet, take you, Dawn Carter, to be my wife. You, Dawn Carter, to be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or worse. For better or worse. For richer or poorer. For richer or poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and cherish. Love and cherish. Till death do us part. According to God's holy law. According to God's holy law. Give me your hand. <laughs> 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 gotcha. yeah. I, repeat after me please, I, Dawn Carter, take you, Colonel Kevin Stork, please, to be my husband, to have and to hold, from this day forward, for better or worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and cherish, till death do us part, according to God's holy law. In the presence of God and before this congregation, Colonel Kevin Storkfleet and Dawn Carter have given their consent and made their marriage vows to each other. They have declared their marriage by the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of rings. I therefore proclaim that they are husband and wife together. You may kiss. <laughs> to those whom God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Let us all say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, 